how are you hope all you are fine today's topic is the ccf 3.1 holding qqc inspector the interview questions the latest questions you can get from it here this is very important question this is the part 4 there is three parts already i have given the almost more than 50 questions more than 45 to 50 questions so every question have their explanation so you can easily understand the answer is come up, comes out from which clause or which explanation from which code so you can get it easily from there so this is also same here the you can get some good questions are here and you can get the good explanation from where you can get the answer so let's start the first question if you see for ultrasonic testing which of the following statement is true the option a is it is easy to identify all defects definitely it will not be the correct option it is easily identified to all defects not easy to identify the all defects the equipment should be calibrated before use definitely the ultrasonic testing machine should be calibrated before use this option can be the correct one so option c will go the option c that we have to choose the right answer so option c is the equipment cannot be automated this is not the right ultrasonic testing definitely there can be automated system option d is sound waves will not travel through copper this is also not the right one so option b is the correct answer means the equipment should be calibrated before used definitely any of any of the equipment testing equipment definitely should be calibrated before used so we have give some clarification what is ut disadvantages trained and skilled operator required before you start the ut definitely you need trained and skilled operator means you have to train people trained by some organization then you can do the ut and then definitely if you are trained then definitely you should be skilled and second is skill how how one person could be skilled definitely depends on the experience requires high operator skill operator skill is required high operator good surface finish is required surface finish always should be good because you are using the probe and the contact surface should be always the clean then probe use you probe will be used correctly defect identification the defect identification the coupling may contaminate contaminate coupling if it's contaminate with the surface then it can be false defect it can be no permanent record you cannot get the any permanent record means you cannot get any printout for this one calibration required definitely you need the calibration for this one and ferrite metal is the most used. so this is the ut disadvantages now we'll go for calibration why it is required the calibration calibration it is depends because of evaluating and adjusting the precision and accuracy of measuring equipment so if you need the particular any defect evaluating and measuring equipment should be accuracy then definitely you need to calibrate it before start of the before use of this machine so you should always calibrate the machine before use the user must calibrate the system which includes the equipment settings the transducer and that it is set up to validate that the desired level of precision or accuracy are achieved so you should check the equipment setting also the setup also test setup then only you see you have to confirm you need to you see that the confirmation is there uh, regarding this calibration is okay then you can you can start the machine so the correct answer will be answer is b means the should be calibrated before use question two which of the following standards is concerned with welder approval so welder approval of which code is the actual requirement if you see the there is four code is there bsen 499 bsen 288 bsen 22553 and last one is bsen 287 so definitely the correct answer is bsen 287 is for the 
welders approval means qualification test of welders so answer will be d question 3 the wps cause for a wood gap to be between 2 and 3 mm the actual measurement gap is 4 mm of action would you like if you see in any wps in in a wps there is mentioned the wood gap is 2 to 3 mm is required but when you see in the actual in the fabrication yard or in the field the actual measurement it is coming 4 mm so what you will do for this particular joint what will be your action first is accept it as it's only 1 mm never we cannot accept like this way because it is the wps is the mother one the main thing is wps we have to do welding as per the wps b is rejected we can reject c this is the actual should be answered option b let's see the option c what he is what is telling the welder will decide if it fails it will be his problem definitely not we cannot welder cannot decide anything about this pro about this wps option d the older insists that he can weld the part joint easily so let him go ahead never if you are not doing this for wps definitely the older we cannot approve for this particular welder so the joint will be the reject so option b is the correct answer answer b you understand here is just explanation with welding inspector position if you are a welding if you if you are a welding inspector then you have to follow approved wps very straightly any difference with the wps then you have to reject it but in a, as a welding engineer it is considered the check taken for example if it is checked the follow as me section 9 root spacing is non essential can accept so if so in that case if you see in that type of welding if you find out in the actual measure gap is 4 mm so the client is telling you can accept this one then you have to go this joint details we have to tell to our welding engineer if welding engineer tell or design engineer tell that it is okay we can proceed then they have give they will give one approval to us that we can go, go ahead with this joint so then it is okay but as a welding inspector we never cannot be accepted it we have to reject it always if it is not as per the wp so answer b means option b is the correct answer question 4 what is the abbreviation for a welding procedure specification that has been written for the purpose of qualifying a weld procedure test well so what is the abbreviation you are doing a w you are doing a welding procedure test weld you are doing a test weld welding procedure to qualify so what you need particularly for the first beginning what is the requirement so you see here first thing wps welding procedure specification b is pre-qualified welding procedure specification c is uwps d is pwpt so the first one definitely if you know the pwps is the first welding procedure that is called the pre-qualified that is mentioned in aws d1.1 it is very important some code such as aws d1.1 allow pre-qualified wps where whereby it is established that the wps written per code will procedure well with correct mechanical and metallurgical production it is not needed prepare a pre so pre-qualified wps means it is not a require not require a wps means it is this qualified wps already have pre prepare a pqr previously and it is qualified that's why i call the pwps so correct option will be the option b is the pwps answer b is the correct answer question 5 how are the length of tack weld during assembly and fit up determined so how you determine the length of tack weld during assembly so you can see here the option a by the welders as they have extensive knowledge welder cannot decide the length of tack weld this is very important 
Second option, the fabrication specification will give minimum tack length requirement. Definitely, the design requirement also fabrication specification they will give the tack length requirement. Option C, the fabrication drawing will give all the information. You cannot get all the information in fabrication drawing, but you can get all the information from the fabrication specification. So option C will not be the correct answer. And option D, any length of tack weld will do for assembly. No, you cannot do any length of tack weld for the assembly. It should be as per the fabrication specification. So answer B means option B is the correct answer. What does the term WPS means? This is very easy. That is the welding procedure specification. The correct answer option C is the correct answer. What does the term WPQR mean? That is World Productivity Quality Review. A, B is World Productivity Quality Requirements. C is Welding Procedure Qualification Record. So C is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer. Question 8. Is it always necessary to preheat the base metal before welding? Not on a sunny day means even a uh, option a not in a sunny day means there is a sunny day that's why you cannot do the preheat it is not actually the actual uh, actual answer so option a is not the correct answer option b only in according with the wps you have to do with wps definitely wps if it is mentioned the preheat requirement before holding definitely we go with uh, we we have to go with preheat Option C is if the equipment is available, it must be used. No, that is means any equipment is there. You have to use that equipment. No, it is requirement. It should be as per WPS. Option D, if using cellulosic rod, this will provide enough heat. No, definitely cellulosic rod and basic rod. What we have to use also we have to use as per WPS we have to use. So option B is the correct answer only in according with the WPS. It depends on the thickness of material and type of material. Which of the following would not be required to be checked before welding? The welding consumable definitely have to check before welding. The oil root gap definitely we have to check. PWHT temperature range? No, definitely the post oil heat treatment that is the after welding. So option C. And option D is the oil paint preparation. Definitely the oil preparation we have to check before holding. So what we not to check before holding? PWHT temperature range. That is as per abbreviation it is telling post oil heat treatment means after holding. Are used to change post oil heat treatment are used to change the properties of the oil metal controlling the formation of crystalline structure. So it is actually controlling the formation of the crystalline structure it is used as a after welding so answer c is the correct answer how do you how do we determine what is the correct weld preparation root gap root phase included angle should be how you determine by consulting the wps the fabrication drawing will give all the information definitely no you cannot fabrication drawing will not give all the information like root gap root phase root included angle so all this will be consulting with the wps wps by consulting this is the correct answer definitely we go option c the welder will decide definitely welder will not decide again i told uh, again i said previously that welder will not decide anything you should always check the uh, you should always do the welding as per the wps the inspector will recommend what is suitable definitely inspector also will not recommend you have to go also as per wps so you have to the uh, correct answer by consulting the wps you have to determine the correct weld preparation so answer a option which of the following would not be required to be checked before welding the welding consumable the welder qualification c is calibration of the welding equipment the workshop humidity you have to check 
before welding you have to check welding consumable definitely the welder qualification also check also the calibration you have to check before but which are the not requirement humidity we are not checking before welding so you have to the correct answer is option d question 12 is it permissible to allow a trainee welder to carry a production alone definitely not we cannot do any type of training welder to do directly welding in site or production so definitely you have to approve welder means the welder should be have the approval for this particular wph so first is never second is yes as long as the supervisor is happy with the workmanship standard no option b is not the correct answer yes as long as he is approved qualification to cover the intended scope of work no so we cannot do any tiny holder first you have to understand that tiny holder cannot do welding in production world he can do welding in the test piece or something in a train side train pieces train pieces welding it is not you cannot do in the involvement of production welding so you have to understand before welding list of available qualified welder related to the wps so certificate are valid and in today so before welding always we have to check the what are the qualified welders are there for the particular wps and they have the certificates are valid and how what is the date of approval during welding is approved to weld the joint so option is a answer is a is the correct answer question 13 13 what information should be recorded as the minimum on a completed production weld what information size and type of electrode used welding supervisor name welder identification date and welder number welding inspector name so what are the minimum requirement you have to use in the completed production welding size and type of electrode used after welding weld identification identified number as required is marked with a welder identity size and type of electrode sorry the size and type of electrode that is for the information requirement after completed production weld always use the welder that is calling that the question is calling actually requirement of after production weld means the after production oil what you have to write in that joint means the welder identification date and old number means option c is the correct answer so this is very important question sometimes the people will not understand the correct answer what will be the you have to understand means a completed production oil means after completed production oil that the weld joint what you have to write in the weld joint that is the questions asking so this answer will be the welder identification date and old number option c is the correct answer question 14 which standard is used for the basic requirement for baseball inspection bsen 970 apm 1104 bsen 7079 so the correct answer will be bsen 970 is the non destructive examination for fusion oil the visual examination so answer A, the option A is the correct answer. So I think you understand this all 14 questions with their correct explanation. If you have any query, just give a message to my comment box, then I can easily reply to you. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to get the regular video. Thank you.